Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Attic Creations. I'm Diane and today we are going to be organizing our Picture My Life cards. A very big task I have, I believe, conquered it this time. So let's get scrapping. Well, I am still in organizing mode. I had to stop on my um, embellishments for a little while because I needed to get um, more glue dots and they came. So I have those to continue working on those. I did finish cutting my pockets for the embossing folders. I got all of the small ones cut. I do not have them assembled. I only have about 10 assembled. And then I did create the file for the larger six by six one. And I did put two score lines on it. And I have not embossed the piece for this one yet. I still need to measure that and everything. Um, I did use, <laughs> I ran out of my 100 pound paper and I had to use 12 by 12 on this size. So I forgot to change the cut um, pressure. So it cut twice and it kind of roughed these up a little bit. Um, they're still usable and they're cute. It's a speckled paper that I had, but I really like the fact that it's got this fold down here and then I just put it like that. Um, and I have all those cut, which is fantastic. And then today, my, well, yesterday, actually, my four, these are um, three and a half by five, I believe is the size on this one. I've got the box right here. Here. Let me see here. So those are four by five and a fourth. And there's four pockets on each page. And then I got this one right here that there's three pockets that are four by six. So there's a pocket up here and here and here. And I had ordered these because I wanted to make sure I had something for my um, Picture My Life cards. And I have tried multiple different ways of storing my picture of my life cards um, back when I was doing more through Stampin' Up because they have the same type of cards. I had just, you know, kind of like filed because I do like to flip and um, that didn't work. I never used them, never used them. I have honestly used these more than I've used any other card in my life, which is fantastic. And I had been storing them in either this container or I have it right here. Here it is. Or this style of a container. And with this one, I was putting like this one had um, workshop die cuts and wood grain die cuts in this one. And I did take those out today and kind of sorted them out. Um, but when I had all the bits in here, the trouble I was having was I could see it. I thought it looked amazing because I had all this stuff but then when I would go to get stuff it was just this mess you know like you're just fiddling around and um, then you have to pull it all out it was just a hot mess and I decided that I didn't care for that idea so I started over here I know I'm working on on this one but I started with this one I've got as you grow and I made these little tabs and then I just used my p-touch and I, um, let me see here. I've got one that's, nope, I don't. Um, let's see, what do we got? We've got Wonderland. And then let's do the VIP. Okay, so basically what I've got here, and I've already actually got these ready for myself, but I did it, let's turn that off. And then I would cut this and then I would, after I took the backing off, I'd cut this in half. I all, <laughs> I used to try to take it off um, after I had cut it in half and that is not as easy. So always take the backing off and then cut them. Um, but it makes the, the font a lot smaller, which is what I needed for, um, for these. See, it's, here's as you grow. So I've got the four by six first and then I've got the um, three by fours. And I, d I started out because I do have enough of these pockets. I know I've got little rubbers right here to keep these together a little better. Um, but it does make them kind of a little more difficult to flip back and forth. 
Um, so when I first started doing this, I had an additional page in here and I had only singles. So I had love bug on this side and on the back side. I decided that I didn't really need that. So I added, I took one page out and added those to this one. And then this one is just a, a one-sided. Um, this was something I had cut off of one of the Picture My Life cards, so I just kind of kept that. Um, here is the um, beach party ones. I know, I've got so many, and now I can actually see them, which is huge. Uh, but I want to get to, which one is it? There's one of them in here that shows something else that I'm doing. And it actually might not be in this one. Here's Cassette. We've got, um, what's this one? This one is Candid Moments. Eat, Play, Love, Feels Like Home. This was a set I got on eBay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Um, I've got my Hey Handsome in here. I did just use my tear tape to put these down. Um, these down so that I can take them up if I need to. Oh, here, here's one of them. So... I went through my bits and I had some bigger bits. These weren't actually bigger ones. These are little, whoops, on this page, heart ones. These are the little journaling tags. And I originally had intended to put them in my other book. Let me grab that actually. Because when my glue dots got here today, I, or, yeah, it was today. I started um, putting things in here. So I've got all of these, aren't those pretty? The little scarlet glitter. I think they were actually supposed to be more of a um, candy apple, but they feel scarlety to me. So I put them in scarlet. Um, but I started putting these bits in here. So here's like from Candid Moments. This one I didn't feel would go in these little pockets very well. Um, I have a ton of peach, a ton. So very surprised on that one. Um, where is the one? This is, um, these are the die cuts from, not Candid Moments, Sawyer. These are the Sawyer die cuts. These are Candid Moments. <laughs> in Full Bloom, I have a ton. Here's more In Full Bloom. Here is more, um, what is, this is Candid Moments here. I think this is in full bloom up there. Um, but I started finding all of these pieces. And then I had some of these longer strips that I'd flagged. So I put them in here. But I really thought that these tags and other things were too big to kind of go in here. When it was narrow and stuff, I thought, okay, no problem. Let's see. I feel like there's, there's I've got some more sage there. There's more in full bloom. That one just keeps going and going and going. Um, those cute, those little butterflies. Um, yep, those bits. Let's see here. There was one additional. Oh, had some more mink. It does have some other colors on it, but I thought it fit in mink. Uh, black got a huge beef up. <laughs> this was one of the Christmas packs. And um, so I've got that. This is that school pack. So these are actually the kind of the chipboard die cuts that we can get. Um, I decided that I didn't want these to get broken because I have three of each one for my, my older girls and I didn't want them to get broken. So I put them in here and then we've got recess and the paper clips. I have more craft, lots of craft, um, mint, went crazy with Sawyer. Is that Sawyer? I want to say that's Sawyer. It's this one. So yeah, that's Sawyer. Um, and then these were from, what were these from? So this is Sawyer. This is Sawyer. This one is Candid Moments. And so then I put these little titles I had cut. I've got those titles. And then I have this miscellaneous one. And I, I think I'm probably going to add a wood grain because I have all of these bits from um, Candid Moments. So that's what I've been doing so far is this. Organizing that, putting this stuff in here. I ended this one on, right now, Holly and Ivy. And I started the next one with In Full Bloom and then Jingle, Jingle Joy 
and the next one is Sawyer. So I don't believe I have anything in between. But the nice part is I can add things in. So here is where I had put, um, this is the same on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is just take these out of here and put them in with this one so that I am not using as much up. This little award, so cute. Kind of have to change my thoughts on how it, it's portrayed um, and what shows, but that's okay. So then we've got that one and this one. So we've got two of those. Then I have, these are just little bits that were either die cuts from, I got from Kelly or die cuts from the kits. These are from that kit, the workshop kit. Oh, and my daughter had gotten a hold of that. And then these were just little bits that I had. I might condense those a little bit more. And here were some frames, but these are from In Full Bloom. So I need to move that. This has happened more than I'd like, but I did set things kind of aside and uh, they didn't stay as nicely as I had wanted them to. They were kind of like having a little party without me. Okay, so then I have Smarty Pants, and I'm just trying to put these in as alphabetical order as I can for right now. Let me grab that. So we just, um, I've just been working on this, trying to get all of these so I can find them easily and scrapbook them. And I really do feel like this is going to help me. Um, one other problem I'm facing right now is my glitter paper and I'm not exactly sure let me grab the other ones I'm not exactly sure how I am going to go about it um, because where it's at right now is on my um, scrap rack and they kind of flop and I this size the eight and a half by eleven size you can go through it really easy the 12 by 12 size, they're just a lot floppier and I don't care for that. It's a lot for me. Oh, another thing I did realize <laughs> because I was trying to go down all the way and so I was putting a tab right here. I can't get the four by six in there if I put the tab. So I have to leave this space kind of open. So that's why that's like that. And then I've got to fix this one. All of these little cards, it's so nice to be able to really see them. Okay, so let's put the shoes in with that one. Yeah, I love these little crayons. Put the gray side out, and I like the orangey side of that one. Okay. So I think this, if you are... I can add these over here and save this sheet too. Um, if you are looking for a way of storing your Picture My Life cards, I would look into this because it's really economical and I think it's doing a really good job too. So I'm just put that there. And then the next one is these VIP highlights. Uh-oh, I was going to highlights. I'll have to go backwards and put these in. Actually, they might go in the one prior. Yeah, they would go in the prior one. Okay, so I'm just going to take these little guys, that's highlights, and put that over here. And then I've got True Love, which was another one that I believe I got on eBay um, when I was kind of just looking to see if there was kits out there that had been retired, because I kept seeing amazing papers by people. And I was like, well, I want that paper. And I found a couple of them. I didn't find many. I'm still trying to get more Sweet Girl. That is one that I want more of. And it looks like I have not done the bigger cards for this one. I knew there was a problem with that one. Um, so I'm going to condense real quick and put it in there and not put that... Um, that label on until I find the bigger ones. But aren't these pretty? They're 
They're so pretty. That flower, isn't that pretty? And look at how many I'm able to just kind of see now. Let's put that with that one. This is our happily ever after. Okay, so we'll just put these in here and here. And then we'll end this with Wonderland, which is here. So let me grab the Wonderland tag. I'll do that one. I'll kind of flip through it a little bit and then I will let you get on with your day. So hopefully you are getting some great storage tips right here because I am so hopeful that this is going to be the answer to, to my problems. And that is not using my product. I need to be using my product. I know we all face this, so I'm hoping that whatever I'm doing can help you out. Down here at the bottom, you can usually get four. So you just have to kind of space them. And I will have the cut file for this. Aren't those cool papers? The, this one is really cool. I'm worried though that this is VIP highlights. It is. Okay. I grabbed that one too and I should not have. Put that over there. There we go. Okay. Let's grab these out of here. Condense. I only have the one I need to condense. And it's making me feel like I'm, you know, doing a better job when I am condensing them so that I'm not just like kind of wasteful as well as the fact that you really should only have so many things before you're like, I need to move on to the next spinder. Okay. And then again, I have these little plastics here. Okay. So this one, we start with the in full bloom. And then we just kind of keep going. Lots of fun things. And you can see them. Now, this right here is probably the worst. I don't have anything else to put these in unless I put them in the book with the, um, the embellishments. So I'm hoping that just by having them up here and not, you know, having to worry too much that they'll stay safe because I think they're just too big for the other one. But as you can see, look at all those. Got a lot done. I'm so excited. I'm getting this all organized and cleaned up. My pile's kind of shifting. Um, I will fix that true love one and my highlights. And then I'm going to be done for the day. So you have an amazing day. Again, I hope I've helped you. And I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe. If you would like to see more of my videos, leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.